Greetings folks. In this video I'll be having a look at the new video transmitter from AKK, the Alpha 16. Yes, you heard it right, 16. That is 16 watts of analog video transmitter. That is uh, a crazy amount of power. AKK have turned up the volume to 11 like Nigel Tufnell from Spinal Tap, I think. If you weren't happy with the previous 10 watts, then you can get the 16 watt version. Of course, you don't have to use it at 16 watts. You can use it at 25, 1, uh, 3, 5, 8 watts. So uh, you don't have to uh, burn a hole in your plane. <laughs> Actually, they don't get that hot. They've got a very good uh, cooling system on them. So let's have a look at the actual unit. Here it is. Uh, we have uh, enormous heat sink there and a decent fan also embedded in the heat sink. Uh, we have SMA antenna, single digit LED for selecting band, channel and power and uh, a single button to do all the uh, setting up. Inputs and outputs, it runs on 19 to 28 volts, so that's 6 to 8S. So that means there won't be many uh, flight control boards that will give you filtered 6S power. So what I'm going to do is uh, power it separately from two 3S batteries. I don't actually have a 6S battery. Uh, it has smart audio, TBS there, video, ground and 5 volts for the camera. SMA antenna connector and they have also given me some diamond antennas to try out. These are higher gain than the tube antennas. Tube antennas are 4.5 uh, dBi. These are 6 dBi, so sort of na narrower angle of coverage. And you get two antennas. One is for the lower half of the range and the other is for the upper half of the range because the uh, Alpha 16 can cover 96 channels from 4.9 gigahertz up to 6 gigahertz. So uh, you sort of need two antennas to cover the whole range. Now, what possible use would you have for 16 watts? Well, they specifically state that they're not selling them for military uh, applications. Of course, they probably would end up in that situation. Pretty hard to totally ban it. Uh, but uh, possibly agricultural, where you're out on your 1,000 square kilometre ranch and you want to monitor um, fences and cattle and things like that, where you're not going to step on anyone else with high-powered transmissions. It's a possible use, I suppose, but yeah, there's just no possible use that I could have for 16 watts. And I'm sure you can understand I'm not going to fly with 16 watts or any of the higher powers and do a range test. I will do a, uh, a basic test on possibly one watt or something like that, just to show what the uh, trans transmission looks like. Smart audio, so you can do all your setup using your transmitter sticks if you connect to smart audio but again i'm not sure how you would do that requiring 6s power uh, you wouldn't sort of get that from your flight control board anyway that's not something i have to work out it would possibly make sense if you could do some inav programming logical programming so that you could step up through the powers as you get further away from your receiver that might be a, a possible use for the higher power so you use lower power when you're close and higher powers when you get out to longer range. So it comes with a cable. It plugs in there, of course. Uh, it has dual twisted power cables there. And I have soldered on uh, XT30 so that I can power it from my two uh, 3S batteries. And we have the green is the smart audio, which I don't need or can't use. And then we have five volts ground and signal for your camera. Also in the box, we get an antenna extender, SMA, so that you can put your antenna away from the top of the receiver if you need to. And a little quick start guide, instruction manual. So the power levels are 25, 1 watt, 25 milliwatts, 1 watt, 3 watts, 5 watts, 8 watts and 16 watts. Cooling fan, of course, 19 to 28 volts input with 5 volts output. And the single button, this one here, for changing the band channel and power. Single push to step through the eight channels. Uh, push for two seconds to change it to the bands. Then you can step through all the bands, 12 bands I think there are. Then push the button for three seconds and you can step through the different power levels. 
Now, please note that a lot of these bands aren't supported by the popular FPV goggles. Uh, I guess you would have other uses for other bands, but uh, the one I'm going to use is band T, channel 1, 5705, and power of 1 or 2. So I just have to make sure I get the LEDs reading 1, T, and 2, and then I'm good to go. Weight of the unit is 56 grams, excluding the antenna. So what we'll do now is go over and have a quick look at the AKK website and the product details, and then I'll pop it on my Mini Talon and we'll go out for a fly. Here we are over on the AKK website and you can see the announcement pops up saying that they have stopped from the September the 1st, 2024, have stopped selling to all nations and their allies that are at war. And they're saying that these VTXs were not intended for you to be used for military activities. Fair enough. And the use and operation of video transmitters in any country may require a license. Some countries may not allow its use at all, which is a wise thing to say up front. So we're in the video transmitter section, here's the Alpha 16, currently at 199 US, so uh, it's not at all cheap, I guess. Just having a look at the specs there, there are the, the dimensions. It's quite a thick uh, video transmitter at 16 millimeters. Power supply for the camera is five volts and under uh, 500 milliamps max. Cable connector, JST six pin, and these are the, all the 96 channels that you can choose from and they have some testing data there too all right let's go out for a fly here's how i mounted it up on the nose of the mini talon uh, that's just a bit of an l-shaped bit of pvc plastic so that i can mount the alpha 16 up uh, sort of on its side like that that means i get access to the little button there and i can see the led on the other side my camera is a Runcam uh, Micro Eagle, I think it is. And I have two 3S LiPos in there, connected in series, so we get 6S. And I have a flight control board in there, but um, the camera and video transmitter isn't going through that because I need a separate 6S and to reduce the amount of interference as well. You can hear the fan going there. There is a fair bit of fan noise. So let's now increase the power. So we have channel one, band T, power two. So that's one watt. So we should be right to go now. I think I'm on one watt and channel one, band T. I hope. It's looking better. Yeah, we're good now. We'll cruise on down the coast. That is a lovely clean feed, I have to say. Bit of a dull, uh, misty day, but uh, yeah, that's uh, no interference at all. That's great. It's what we want to see. Very nice. As usual, I'd have to say you're better off with uh, directional antennas and a ground station and uh, uh, all of those sorts of things rather than increasing the power. So that's the Alpha 16, yeah, well, <laughs> a rugged 16 watt analog video transmitter from AKK. Uh, it does the job pretty well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.